I ain't gave y'all one of these in a minute. What's good y'all, SRT Dave back, bringing y'all another banger video. I know I've been out for a while, but I promise from now on to be more consistent with the videos so y'all don't get bored over this winter season when we can't really do a lot of stuff like car meets and you know stuff like that. But I promise to still bring y'all content and this is the start of me being more consistent. If you're new to the channel and this is your first video, welcome. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the like button because you know we're on the road to 1K. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all my subscribers, those of you that have been along with me through this whole journey and also those of you that are new i just really appreciate y'all for showing me love and helping my channel grow so with today's video guys i want to show you how much it takes to fill up my 2009 dodge challenger srt8 i think i'm going to give you all a little bit of pov while i drive over to the gas station i just got out of work so i'm gonna get back with you guys when i get on the road for this pov if you guys know my exhaust setup is a cat back straight pipe Mufflers delete it, resonators delete it. No exhaust system, just cut some stuff off. Well, when I first got the car, it actually came with boiler resonators on it, and then I got those cut off. And now we run into straight pipe. I like it, but it's real, real poppy. So I'm thinking maybe in the future I'll get an exhaust system. Nah, probably not. Yeah, this is the sound inside the cabin. Not really too loud. I feel like I'm used to it now. It's hard to do POV with a phone. I really need to get a GoPro. I've been telling myself that I was gonna get one, but then when I'm right about to do it, and when I'm right about to buy it, I always am like, ah, but the phone is, the phone is good for right now. It's the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I feel like my videos are pretty good I uploaded 4K, so. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get any pulls. It's, what is it, 218? It might be a little bit of midday traffic, but we're gonna see what we can get. I'm not really too low yet on gas. Probably by the time I get to the gas station, I will be because like I said before, I'm on my way home from work and I wanted to give you all this drive, number one, because I wanted to show some POV. I definitely been wanting to do that. And number two, because I need to get gas when I get closer to home. So that's another reason why I'm filming this video. Let me know if you guys like the POV or not. With the GoPro head mount, it'll probably be way better. So I eventually will get that. But for right now, it might be a little shaky. I'm holding the phone in my hand and trying to drive with the other. Yeah, this car is all in the way. Can't even do nothing. Maybe when we get on these back roads over here, no one will be in front of me. And I can show y'all what this thing sounds like. probably like 35 degrees outside where I'm at. It's really nice for these cars. They thrive in, in weather like this. If only I could get some runs. Can't find none. There's a Mustang. <laughs> Saying in it, you hear that intake? I 
I know you hear that intake. Bro, these bumps are crazy right here. I'll let him go. I'll be a nice citizen today and let him go. Because he's driving an AMG. bumpy so I'm probably gonna end the POV here and then I'll pick the camera back up when we get to the gas station had to pop on here real quick and give you all this quick little pull that we're gonna get Woo. I never get sick of that if you guys are looking to get one of these cars with the V with a Hemi in it, whether it be a 61, you know, 64, 57, uh Hellcat, Trackhawk, whatever it is, like you should get that car. If you're thinking about it, you heard it here. Just get it. If you're worried about gas and all that, just get it. It's so worth it. No matter how much you spend in gas, you're gonna enjoy it every time you drive it. That's one thing I, I, I say to people when they're like, oh, do you, do you hate your car because of how much you gotta pay for, pay for gas? I always tell them no, because I'll pay whatever for gas as long as I get to keep driving this thing how I wanna drive it. You know what I'm saying? Um, what do we got for, all right, miles per gallon. I'm about to show y'all what I get. You see it, 15.1. We get 15.1 miles per gallon in a 6.1 liter V8. And that's me driving it how it's supposed to be driven. You know, I, I don't really, I, I baby it to an extent. Like I don't go crazy redlining it every five seconds, but I still drive the car how it's supposed to be driven because it's a performance car. So 15 miles a gallon is pretty good for a V8. I know people with Hellcats that get like eight miles per gallon, seven, nine miles per gallon so if you're thinking about pulling that trigger and getting a srt or whatever just grab it trust me you will not be disappointed i wanted to come on here and tell y'all a little trick so when you're looking to get gas right it don't matter what car you got you got to get gas at places where you can get rewards back so a little trick that i have is I shop at Giant, so Giant gives you gas rewards. That's where I get all my gas. You might see on my Instagram a couple times, I'll post like super low gas prices for 93 for like like $2 or something. And that's because I get gas rewards. So the more you shop, they give you gas rewards and then you can apply it to your gas and lower your gas. In the summer, I was filling up for free sometimes because I was getting so much in rewards. But that's a trick that I wanna tell y'all. Go somewhere to get gas where you can get rewards, whether you become a member at, you know, Sam's Club, Costco. But personally, I do Giant, and I feel like their rewards are pretty good. Um, I really would just recommend doing that because you can save so much on gas. Like, I get gas probably, like, once a week. Maybe a little $20 fill-up in between, but majority, I get gas once a week. And, you know, I don't really let it go too low. I usually let it go right below a quarter tank. What are we at right now? Yeah, we still kinda, we still we don't really need it, but like right at that quarter mark is where I usually let it go to. I never let it get below that last hash mark. I don't like driving my cars when there's not a lot of gas in the tank, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, the rewards, you can save a lot. You can, I like I said, I get gas like once a week and I easily save like $20, $30, on each complete fill up. So it's definitely worth it. There's also an app called Upside that you can download that will give you like instant cash back if you don't wanna start like a rewards program with companies. Oh, there's a challenger, I missed it. But yeah, there's an app called Upside where you can download that and then get shown what gas stations near you are giving rewards out and you can get 10 to like 50 cents, sometimes even a dollar back on a gallon. It depends where you live at. Around me, there's not a lot of gas stations that use Upside, so I just 
you know, got my giant rewards. If you don't have that, you should definitely check out Upside because you might be able to get some cash back on that, which is also a good way to get some money back on gas. Even if you don't save it at the pump, you'll still get it back. But man, there's traffic. Like, I'm still sitting here. I told y'all we were at almost at the gas station. It's all right though, because I haven't talked to y'all in a while. And I'm thinking about making my videos a little bit longer. It might give y'all a little bit more to watch. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my watch hours up too, because we almost had 1K subscribers. I need to get them watch hours up so your boy can get monetized. And then this channel is gonna be crazy when that happens. Okay, we are pulling in to Giant. I don't know how much rewards I got this week, but we about to find out. We right on the end with it. All right, let's see. We not too low, but this is as best as I can get it. I tried wasting gas. And before y'all come at me for the check engine light, it's not on. The car's not even on, so all the lights are on. That's as close as I could get the gas down to around a quarter. So we better see just what it costs to fill up from there. Got my keys. So you guys see the gas is 404. You know we get 993, I don't care about the other stuff. 404. So we gotta see what I got. Let me open up my gas cap first. Jones tough, right? Carbon fiber boy. Oh, let me also put y'all onto this. If you got a challenger, you know there's no lock on this. So what I did is I ordered myself a little locking gas cap from Amazon. See look. You can't open it without this. Definitely get one of them, it's like 20 bucks. All right, but we about to see how much rewards I get. It's 70, not bad, not bad. And I'm gonna turn the camera off so y'all can't see my car because I know y'all gonna be going crazy out there with that. There's a lot of bread on that. Can't show that to y'all. So what are we at now? 334. Great, John. They got new pumps here. We're about to see. Oh, you gotta hit that number three. Let me take a quick thumbnail while we over here. You know what I'm saying? You guys are new this is the car check out my other videos to see what i got done filthy look at this dang i need to get a wash man i really need a wash eight gallons and like 27 bucks we usually get like 16 on a full tank so There it is, 14. And then we gonna round off to Yes, I need that receipt, my boy. Definitely need that receipt. Need some towels. I spilled a little bit. I got no towels. I got towels. Spilled it a little bit. Sorry. 
though. All locked up. We out. One more time. 4804 for 14 gallons. Another little start up. bad not bad like i said it's usually around like 50 dollars for a fill up on 93 for me with my rewards i think without the rewards i'll easily be paying like 90 dollars let me know down in the comments what you guys pay for 93 gas wherever y'all are at definitely going to be having more videos for you guys coming up i'm on christmas break now from school in between semesters so we definitely going to be bringing more bangers i'm going to come up with some creative videos for y'all to see I'm going to do it different than all these other YouTubers out there. I don't really know nobody that's got my car doing what I'm doing on here. So we're just going to keep staying in our lane, keep, keep going, keep doing my thing. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on how much it takes to fill up my car. Let's go, young bull. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on how much it takes to fill up my car. Let me know if you guys like these vlog style videos in the comments. If you do, I'll definitely drop them more. Or if you like the ones where I really, I edit out everything, you know, let me know that as well. Like I said, more bangers coming. Keep supporting. Follow me on Instagram at SRT underscore Dave if you haven't. I'm going to be more active. You know, we back. I know I always say I'm back because I took another break not that long ago, but now we really back. It's about to go crazy. I'm about to go crazy on the channel. So keep rocking with me. This is probably going to be the video before Christmas. I hope all you guys have a nice holiday. If you don't celebrate, you know, happy holidays. I'll definitely get back to you guys soon with another video. Yeah, now I'm just talking. So I'll catch you on the next one. It's SRT Dave and I'm out.